Hi there. Uh, I'm here with the another tutorial on web development. This time I'm going to discuss Bootstrap framework. This framework is very good for developing responsive and mobile first based projects. So right now I have Bootstrap 3.2.0 which I have downloaded in my directory here also created a few pages I have one right now uh, created which is a simple template so first thing we have to do is download the bootstrap on our desktop or on our server where you want to deploy then once you download that create index.html or any other HTML file then you have to give the specific viewport for device which is meta name viewport then content width is equal to device width then initial scale is equal to one also you have to add the cassette set for your web page like UTF-8 you can copy this typical meta from any other bootstrap example Likewise, you can also have your uh, bootstrap favicon from the directory. Right now, this new version doesn't have that favicon. So, we are going to go back again and add it later. This is starter template, uh, which I have copied from their website. I just changed the path for CSS which is bootstrap main and starter template.css which you can find in CSS folder now there is also a JS file in JS directory which is bootstrap JS bootstrap main and jQuery uh, if you want you can add also I emulation warning JS or I10 then coming back to this what we have done here is we have called for the nav bar this nav bar will be fixed on top so whenever you are scrolling it will remain fixed then we have the container within which we are going to add the rest of the nav bar elements like nav bar header this class will contain a button for toggle so the way toggle works is like this okay when you do small size of your screen this little button on the right is the toggle button which will bring these menus okay go back to the page here okay so then what we have is a brand name which is the project name displayed on our page here project name you can change for your own company name then we have rest of the menu elements home about and contact class here set to active to show you that it is pressed also you have to close the rest of the deals then we are inside a container here we are using new class starter template. You can name it any other you want and then customize colors as well. Inside of which I have added a demo content from that example template. So you'll find it here. When you run this template, you'll find that the spacing in between the top menu and the content is very small. For that, you can add horizontal rule and a break. Okay, so this is short tutorial on how you can get started with bootstrap. Just make sure that you use bootstrap main.css or bootstrap.css also call for the bootstrap JS file in the bottom. If you want to use jQuery, you can use the jQuery within bootstrap directory or call from the online CDN version. 
Okay, so that's it with our straw tutorial and I'm going to get into depth with bootstrap as well as foundation framework in upcoming tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this video series. Have fun!